Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to update the iPhone to iOS 18. Let's get started. All right, we're going to be going over how you can install and update iOS 18 on your iPhone, but there are a few things we do need to make sure you have set up and prepared to ensure this update runs as smooth as possible. First, make sure that you are connected to either your Wi-Fi connection or 5G connection. You can actually update on 5G. The main thing is that you have fast, consistent internet to avoid any interruptions. You also want to make sure that you have at least 30% battery available to you on your iPhone or better yet, just plug it up to a charger, lightning or USB-C depending on your iPhone. Next, you want to make sure you have enough space on your iPhone. The best way to do this is to open settings, general, and then go to the iPhone storage. Check the storage you have here. You're going to need at least this much space right here to install this update for iOS 18. I suggest you have a little bit more available. You'll need to delete files, folders, whatever you need to do to get that space and you'll be able to run the iOS 18 installation. Once you have that all set up, my recommendation is to back up your iPhone, your photos, your videos, all of that stuff. You can use your iCloud up there. You can connect it to a computer. Whatever you need to do to back up your device is my recommendation. It's highly unlikely something will go wrong. I haven't really had any issues with it going wrong, but if there is an issue, with the update, at least your stuff is backed up. It's just for your own peace of mind. Now, once you have everything set up, you're going to open settings and we can begin to update iOS 18 on our iPhone. You're gonna tap on general, you're gonna tap on software update, and it should appear, it'll look like this. Again, you'll see how much space you'll need right there. You can read through this, tap learn more, but when you're ready, you're going to tap update now. It's going to prompt you to enter in your passcode. You'll see the terms and conditions appear. You can tap agree, tap agree again, and it's going to request the update. Now, during this process, it's going to prepare the update. It's going to give you some estimates. You can read through what this is all about. But again, if you don't see your iOS 18 update, keep refreshing, but also check if your iPhone is supported for iOS 18. There's a link in the video description. Check that. It's called which iPhones are getting iOS 18 and see if your iPhone is supported. All right. So the update has downloaded. It took quite a long time. You can tap install now or just let the timer run out. It's going to verify the update. Update, the iPhone's going to then go through the installation process where it turns on and off with a black screen and a status bar. I recommend you don't touch anything at this point. Just let it do its thing. If you have your phone plugged up to a charger, leave it. Don't turn the phone off. Don't start trying to play around with it. Just let it do its thing and let it complete the installation. I'll speed this up and we'll come back when iOS 18 has updated on the iPhone. All right, so the update is complete. iOS 18 is now installed on the iPhone here. We'll just swipe up to log back in, enter your passcode, and now your software update is complete. Tap continue here. From here, you can choose to share your analytics with Apple, I don't, and swipe up. And there you have it. We have iOS 18 installed. We'll open up the settings here and just double check we did install it. You'll actually notice settings looks a little different. Tap general, you can see the new layout here, software update, and there you have it. iOS 18 is up to date with some cool new features here. If you tap and hold on your screen here, you can tap edit. You can now uh, customize this whole system here so you can have tinted and dark mode applications, really cool stuff. So if you're interested in learning more about iOS 18, iPhone 16 Pro, Pro Max, and all that stuff, I'm gonna be showing you how to use all the new features, including Apple intelligence with iOS 18 on the iPhone 15 and 16s. If you had any issues with this iOS 18 installation or update, let me know in the comments. I'm happy to help you out. There are a few things that may happen. Try to restart the iPhone. You may need to log out of iCloud and log back in, but let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to help you out. But here it is, iOS 18 installation is complete. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more iPhone tips, tricks, and tutorial videos. And click that bell notification box so you're notified when I post new videos. And as always, I will see you in the next one.